So the auditory system is the only system that has no other function beside communication. An audition is the process associated with hearing. It's the essential element for verbal communication. If you can't hear, you're never going to learn language. Now the structures of hearing are deceptively simple. The ear is an energy transducer. It converts acoustic energy into electrochemical energy. The outer ear. So there are two basic parts to the outer ear. The pinna, or the oracle, is the most noticeable portion. It varies from person to person in size and shape. It's a funnel-like position that gathers sound from the environment, made entirely of cartilage and twists and turns and indentions. The concha is the middlemost portion and helps funnel sounds into the external auditory canal. The tragus is effective for blocking sounds. So when you're on the subway platform and it's really loud, you don't put your finger in your ear, you close your tragus with your finger. And some animals can voluntarily close it off by themselves. Your two ears are very important for localization of sound. So there's a reason you have two ears. And the anatomy of the oracle is more efficient at delivering high frequency sound than low frequency sound. And if you remember, most of our important sounds for speech are in the high frequencies, and low frequencies tend to be noise. Your external auditory meatus, or your external auditory canal, is approximately 7 millimeters in diameter, 2.5 centimeters long. It's a resonating cavity, so remember, resonate means amplify, and it contributes to hearing. So the resonant frequencies depend on, and the large part, are the length of our cavity. And if you can guess, what do you think resonating frequencies would be important for our hearing? Well, the frequencies that are most important to speech, so the mid and high frequencies get resonated by our ear canal. The lateral third is made of cartilage, and the medial two-thirds is bony. It's S-shaped, and it terminates at the tympanic membrane. You can see it goes up on an angle, with the first portion being cartilage and the second portion being bone. It terminates at the tympanic membrane, which is also known as the eardrum. The outer portion, the cartilage portion, is lined with hair and has cerumen. Serum is also known as earwax, and the inner portion does not have hair or earwax. The tympanic membrane, also known as the eardrum, marks the boundary between the outer ear and the middle ear. It's extremely thin, three-layered sheets of tissues. The first layer is the skin of your ear canal. Then there's a thick, tough, fibrous layer and the third layer is made up of the skin of your middle ear. And if you notice, it's up on an angle. So again, it separates the outer ear from the middle ear. It's a very thin and efficient vibrating system.